speaking of Spider-Man, let's go into Spider-Man talk right now. We're moving along. Spider-Man no more. Tom Holland in a recent interview said that. I don't know if you guys saw this, but he's, uh, I can't remember who the, it was from. Did I write it down? Probably not because I'm not like that. But he said that uh, he kind of wants to take some time off from acting. He's doing an Apple TV, an Apple TV, Apple Plus, whatever it's called, series right now. When he's done doing that, he wants to take uh, some time off. He wants to start a family. He wants to have all of that. And on the flip side of that, Andrew Garfield was just talking about Spider-Man. And he said he's 38 years old and he thinks it's he's too old to be playing Spider-Man. Uh, from now on so how do you guys think we just talked about you know craven the hunter maybe spider-man popping up in there maybe miles morales but how do you incorporate spider-man now in the mcu because you know making over a billion dollars third highest grossing movie domestically of all time you cannot pass up spider-man scotty yeah i um i think tom is getting really good at playing both sides of this Mm -hmm. whole uh, contract thing. I don't think he meant anything really by the if I'm playing Superman until or if I'm playing Spider Man until I'm 30, I'm yeah. doing something wrong. Like I think he wants to do other projects, and he's proven now. I mean, I haven't seen Uncharted, but the numbers speak for itself. Like he might be Sony's new uh, breadwinner. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, absolutely. Uh, I haven't seen his movie with um, Daisy Ridley, but I do kind of want to go back and re- revisit that. Uh, it's on Amazon Prime. I haven't nice. seen it either. That one had yeah. a lot of problems. Though. And that was Doug Lyman, I believe, who did Swingers. For all and it's a movies. very weird plot, for the, especially for the time we live in. <laughs> Let's just put it that way. Um, I don't know anything about it, really. Um, interesting. But Tom is Spider-Man, man. The only other person that I really think can be like a long-term Spider-Man is Toby as the mentor of a Miles. So I think that's what Sony should do with their miles is introduce Peter at the end of his time with Mary Jane. Keep it very accurate to their uh, Spider-Verse movie. They did if they want to do it that way with a couple little twists that are more familiar to Toby. But I think the Toby could be the older Spider-Man that, you know, gets taken out by a kingpin and inspires their Miles Morales to take take the place. Old man spider. I like that idea. Yeah, yeah, I, I like that idea. Why not? Mm-hmm. I mean, if it, it's we're in such a, a, a fun time now with superhero and comic movies and just movies as a whole because we've never been in this scenario before, right? It was Superman the movie, Batman, and then X Men, and then Spider Man, and you had to wait. And then when Iron Man came out, MCU became a thing, right? It took it took years, and we've never been in this situation where these movies have kind of advanced. You know, like uh, Christopher Reeves was Superman four times, but that was it. You know, that was the end of that. And then Michael Keenan was Batman twice, and then he left, and they kind of connected, but not really. So we've never had these worlds where they just keep going on forever and ever and ever. And it's not like James Bond where you just replace the actors coming in. They keep these guys in all the time, and you got to see the turnover with Iron Man now gone and Captain America gone. And, And... you know, it's curious to see how they're going to handle it going forward and how long, how far can they take this style of storytelling where there, there is just a turnover. It's like, okay, this is Spider-Man, Miles Morales, but at what point are they like, uh-oh, we got we to gotta reset the franchise here. That's what I'm, I'm, I, I'm really, I don't want to get older, but I'm anxious to see in like 20 years where the MCU is and what it is. Well, I kind of feel like they set up Spider-Man with the last movie to be, you know, he's back to being a local, you know, your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. So in the grand scheme of things, if you're playing out the MCU, he's just, you know, you, 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 you can buy pass some time by having him just, you know, references to, you know, Spider-Man saves a day in Bronx or, uh, you know, the little things, but doesn't get involved in the big world ending events that we're going to see in the MCU. So I think they, they could buy themselves some time on that side of things. But it's more interesting to see where it'll play into the Sony verse, and how you know a lack of a Spider-Man would would would, would affect them. That's why I was thinking about well, you know bring in, call up Miles Morales because that that's your you know your, your ace in your pocket that you're 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 waiting to call on uh, when you need it. Or like you know like you said you know old man Spidey or I'd be great with you know I don't think Andrew Garfield's too old for it. I know he said that, but he also said he wasn't in Sp- the last Spider-Man. <laughs> there he was. So I don't believe a word he says. Um, so I mean. I, I and and there's still that demand for for seeing that grittier, 
little little older version of Spider-Man that Andrew Garfield played. And now he finally got some closure. Let's see the next stage of that. So I don't I don't think they're without options. I mean, it's really, it's funny that Tom Holland you know, worked so hard to kind of bridge the gap between Sony and the MCU back when there was that big split. What was that, even a year ago, two years ago? Whatever that was, you know, Tom Holland played a big role in keeping the keeping all the pieces on the board together so if he's off, I, I i just don't see him being off the board entirely i, I think maybe it's I'm, I'm not gonna say negotiating tactic or anything but i think enough time will pass we'll just be you know we'll we'll, we'll say oh we kind of miss him then all of a sudden he's gonna show up somewhere i'm not saying in a feature like spider-man movie but he might show up somewhere yeah i'm always like are we really supposed to believe he's not gonna be in like dr strange 2 like him and stephen I- strange are I'm not, potentially the cause of all that. I'm not sure if Holland will be in Strange too. Honestly, well, yeah. and I, I yeah. no, 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 no. He probably. I'm not. I'm also not saying I don't. I don't think he he won't be, or he will be. But I, I, I don't know. Here's the thing. I, I think we're gonna get Spider Man in it. I think it's gonna be Maguire and Garfield possibly more than Tom Holland, because Tom Holland's Peter Parker doesn't exist everyone yeah forgot of Peter Parker mm-hmm. so there would be no uh, aside from him going to strange right I, I that that's my only thing is like that could be their way to get him out and then bring the other two in um, I actually have a question for you guys about if the possibility of, of two or three or one Spider-Man appearing in Doctor Strange 2. And we're going to get to, to Doctor Strange 2 in a little bit but I want to bring this up while we're talking about Spider-Man just the idea of maybe no more Spider-Man but do you think if they if any of the Spider Man appear in Doctor Strange two that that will kind of cheapen their appearance in No Way Home, or do you think it adds to their appearance in No Way Home, or are you indifferent to it? I think it kind of sets uh, sp- their appearance in Spider Man sets the stage for this. So if they start out by showing us the other Spider Mans, um, then Nick, when we see Tom Cruise as you know Iron Man, it'll kind of make more sense. <laughs> you know, they kind of set the stage, so to speak. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's Got tough. It. I don't. It's tough. I feel like if uh, I feel like Marvel's next play with the Spider Verse, they have to go big, or don't really do it at all. Because Sony is going to start to develop no. their own. Yes, exactly. And Sony is going to start developing their own Spider Verse type of thing with Madam Web, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So I don't think too much Spider Man stuff will come into play in mcu land until we get into these bigger like secret wars threats again maybe sony now establishes their own sinister six over there with craven as the lead and he needs help to get to spider-man but i think it'll be a while before there are like integral parts of the spider-verse intermingling with like what's going on in the multiverse i think if they're smart they try to keep that as isolated as possible and maybe even like the third, I always envisioned the third um, Andrew Garfield film to be the way, and I keep saying it, the way that Venom crosses over or something like that. Because with the symbiotes, anything's possible. And if you want to add stakes to it, you do technically could use a Spider-Man that Venom takes out, for lack of a better word, to make him more of a villain. But it's confusing what they want to do with Venom. Still not really sure where his allegiances lie. I think that's partially because they, I, they, they need Venom to be their hero, but he's an anti-hero. So they're having. Mm-hmm. I think I haven't seen Let There Be Carnage. I will. I promise you guys. I will <laughs> see it the next time we you talk should. about it. Yeah, you I should. want to. No, I want it's to. Fun. I just mm-hmm. I haven't had a chance to. That's the only thing. But I, I will watch it because I love, I love, uh, I love Venom. I love Carnage. I can't wait to see it. I love. The idea that they could cross paths and then the the end credit scene in No Way Home was great, I thought, and that opens the door to your theory, Scotty, about mm-hmm. the null. And uh, I, I I don't think Spider Man's gone entirely. I hope he's not gone entirely. Miles Morales to me though is their key. That's like like you said, Steve. That's their yeah. ace in the hole. They've got him waiting in the wings. They just have to figure out when they want to use him. And maybe that's maybe that's a Spider Man for for the Sony verse. Yes, yeah, Scotty. What if the Craven movie introduces Miles? Because we've mm-hmm. seen feast trucks, right? In the yeah, yeah. screenshots for Craven. They keep kind of little hints towards like the the um what is it? It's not a halfway house, but it's like a shelter. Is it a shelter mm-hmm. or are they just a fundraiser for the community? But 
it's a big part of the video game too. So I feel like they're really going to just go all in on the, on all that stuff. And don't forget the, uh, the video game is the universe in which Morbius takes place. in, as we know from that Spider-Man picture, saw that. <laughs> saw that. they, uh, that was very weird. And that's what I'm saying about Morbius. Something is going on with that character. And I dare say he has cross dimensional abilities. So like, is Morbius not in control of his power and he's accidentally literally jumping into other Sony things? I don't right, know. He's, he... Steve, what he's like a night crawler, I guess, um, in that regard. And I really have to like go on to the official site and look up his stuff again. But I, I want to say I found a Marvel card or something where he, he's able to go in and out of dimensions. That's how he phases. You know what I mean? Oh, okay. I don't know much about Morbius. So if you're telling me that's one mm-hmm. of his powers, you know, that, that explains it. That, that could work. Yeah. Yep. I, I go all you know in with that I, Morbius I got... character, man. I'm I'm telling you right now, I was not looking forward to Morbius, and I think the delaying is actually making me more intrigued in this movie as we go. I yep. don't know what it is, but I see that poster, the la- the most recent poster that we almost talked about last week. And I was like, this looks like a cheap poster and like a, a ripoff of Shang-Chi. But then I was like, but there's something like, I don't know. Now I'm kind of into it. So we'll see where that one goes. We got...